Hey guys, it's April. I had a request to um, do iron on on a umbrella to see if it would work. And yes, it does. And I'm just going to show you guys the process. I have already been doing some, and I apologize if the umbrella bumps the camera, but it is large. I am putting foil, Cricut foil iron on on this umbrella, and it is turning out really, really, really well. Um, this is the silver foil, and it's nice and bright and shiny like it's supposed to be. I'm using a temp of 255 for 30 seconds on each section. And mine is saying jingle all the way, all the way around it. And what I did when I went, got to the piece where I had my tie, I just cut a hole in my, I don't know if you guys can see that. I cut a hole in it and I pulled this through. And then I ironed each side with the easy press. So, I mean, that's just an easy way to do it. That way it all stays in line. You don't have to worry about it. Just cut a hole in there and thread it through. And I am going to do one really quick here. Let me just click my timer so my easy press thinks I'm still doing things. And so my next one, I'm doing a jingle all the way. And I had enough sections to do my words around it and then a bell. And I did not measure any of the uh, widths and stuff because I used such a font that would disguise if I was out of line at all. And But I did try to make sure that I was about two finger widths away. Make sure that you're on your easy press mat. And again, I apologize if the umbrella bumps the camera, guys. It's a big item to work on and I have a small area. Make sure you're on your mat and then I'm using the Cricut Protective Mat over it and then I am doing one side of it because I'm using my small press for the area that I have. I do have the 9x9 nine nine, but I did not want to unpack it from my Cricut totes because I carry it with me and I'm just Ironing on, I'm not really putting any pressure. I'm actually sitting down and I just have my hand on it and I'm just going to slide it over and hit my timer again to do the J on this with the little mini press. It's just, it's almost big enough to cover this whole thing, but I did make it slightly large. So, and I will take a photo. I can't get a wide angle on this camera but I will take a photo of it and show and then I am going to be adding some jingle bells to close my umbrella with so I have a nice cute little Christmas umbrella here so if you're wanting to use it and I did use an older umbrella that I had and I tested without my easy press mat patterned iron on and I did it, this is supposed to be cold peel, guys, but I just peeled it warm anyway. But it's okay. It didn't damage the finish. It can damage the finish, uh, but it did not, as you can see. But that cools really fast, too. Um, I wouldn't recommend it with something that takes longer to cool. Um, uh, getting back to that, I did use a piece of... patterned iron on on an older umbrella just in case it melted and I did it at 340 for 30 seconds on the umbrella it did not melt it adhered I had no issue so test your umbrella first because it's going to depend on what your umbrella is made out of and um, that's going to be the key what's what yours made out of I'm glad that's pressure sensitive so I can pull it up. I want to double check. It's a little high, I believe. Yeah. I'm going to slide that down just a tiny bit. As you can see, this it's going pretty quickly. 
like I said, I did do a large design. Um, measure your umbrella from point to point. Mine was almost 14 inches. This is, I think, a 36 inch umbrella, but each section was like 14 inches. So you don't want to go too small because it won't be seen and too big it will run into each other and I just wanted it for a little bit of an accent a little bit of fun for the holidays especially when it rains or snows or sleets and I'm just catching this A over here on this side make sure you put your words in the correct order this umbrella took one roll of the Cricut iron-on foil which is a 12 by 24 inch piece and I, I mean I could have cut around and saved some little pieces for little things later on I did not do that I just cut my sheet apart I'm just gonna let that cool like you're supposed to and peel it cool be careful because you're even though the umbrella will cool quickly your protective sheet is still gonna stay warm for a few minutes Trying to keep this on this camera as much as possible for the space that I have for you guys. That looks just about right. Hopefully I'm close to what I did on the other side, but you can't see both sides at once either anyway, right? <laughs> you can take your time and measure this down to the exact science. And while that is cool, uh, heating. I'm peeling off the other side. But I think it's going to be really, really cute when I'm done. I'm trying to make sure that I'm still in camera for you guys and it appears that I am. And now I'm going to get this piece right down here at the other side. And this project is really pretty quick. Um, I'm going to say two or three minutes to cut out my images and maybe, I forgot to press my timer, but I'm going to guess to make maybe two minutes to weed it. And you can tell if you forget to press your timer. I can see the pattern of the umbrella if I look closely the, of the nylon in that, so I know it's okay. You can always heat a little bit longer if you need to. Don't overheat. This was what I found most challenging, was getting everything on a mat. Making sure it was smooth, that looks good. And go half and half on this one. Again, foil on a, this umbrella, I did the nylon blend, um, 255, 30 seconds. And it does say to heat it from underneath as well. I don't feel that it needs it because this is so thin and I can see the pattern of the umbrella nylon through it. If I look really, really closely, it's not affecting the finish, but I can see the pattern. You don't want to melt it so much that it is burned in there. And anybody that wants this pattern, just let me know. I'll be happy to send it to you. I apologize. I forgot to turn my phone off. Here we go. And I'm going to power off my little baby mini easy press. Available this fall, guys. 
won't be long. You guys can get your hands on the little baby mini easy press. And that is all there was to doing this umbrella. So you can say it says jingle all the way. And then I have my bell with my music notes all the way around the umbrella. And it, like I said, it repeated. And then, of course, I'm going to use my bells for a closure. I got this for, I think, a buck. It was on sale 50% off. I think it was $2.99, buck and a half at Hobby Lobby. So I hope that that shows you guys that you can put this foil on an umbrella on different things and it will work. Thanks for joining me. Please um, give me a thumbs up on the video. And if you haven't noticed, there's an information eye. If you want to support me on Patreon, you will see a flash of that. And the eye up at the top will also let you answer a poll for me and let, tell me what project you would like to see next. Thanks for watching. You guys have a wonderful day.